Hey guys, Carl here. I just wanted to take a few minutes to go over something I found out after hearing some things in chat over the weekend. And I want to go over that because it is a bit of an errata and a correction to the things that I was saying over the weekend about programming blocks not working. And the fact of the matter is, they do. The problem is, is that Keen has made it required to have a very specific setting on to make them work and it's not exposed through the game interface at all unfortunately. If I come over here and I load up the offline uh, beta test world, uh, you'll note here that I've got none of my options for multiplayer again, which is kind of weird and you want to know why that happened is because I've actually changed some of the files. So I've made some very interesting finds, and uh, one of the finds I found is how to get the programming blocks back up and working. So if I cut over here, this is the sandbox SBC file for the, uh, the offline extended test world that I've got here. And once you've loaded this world or any old world up in the beta version, this file gets updated and it adds an experimental mode setting here. And the reason why programming blocks are not working is because Keen makes it so that you have to have that set to true. Now, they don't have this exposed through any direct interface inside of the game itself. So if I pop back over here and take a look at our settings now, still don't really see anything it's going to be telling me about, you know, allowing other people to connect to the game and everything. Kind of a little weird, but if I load up this world again, we're going to find out that programming blocks are indeed working. Now, one side effect of this change is, for some reason, the game likes to lock up over this particular screen. It's going to sit here for a while, but the game is going to keep going. And what I'm going to do is also uh, pop over here and go back into split screen mode because I've also been having some problems with Red Feral joining the game as well. And I think these are some side effects from what we were doing on what we were seeing on Saturday to some extent. And, uh, you know, I hope that they're gonna get that fixed because it's gonna be really annoying otherwise. It's really late for this world to load up. Uh, the reason, uh, the way I actually found out about this is I have a another world. Uh, let me pop back over into this mode here. And this one is from the Thugboat development world, which I have not loaded up in multiplayer. And it's still a regular looking SBC file, but uh, let's look for... No experimental mode showing up. So a old file does not have this setting at all. So this is a large ship development world I started up in multiplayer today, because I haven't really done that yet at this point. What we're going to do is search for experimental mode on here. And lo and behold, because I had experimental mode enabled on my computer at the time in Space Engineers, it looks like it's carried the setting over. I suspect. I can't guarantee that for certain, so if you are still having problems with the programming blocks and you're in multiplayer beta, go into your world files and see if this is set to false. Try setting it to true, and we're going to see exactly why because by now you'll see that the game has loaded up in the background i've got a programming block over here and now i'm definitely still in experimental mode i'm gonna go ahead and turn this block on and the advanced light management script is indeed running no problems whatsoever at all so now the problem is can i get mr feral or red feral to join in so Yep, just standing around the open, eating nothing. Anyways, there's Mr. Farrell. Let's uh, bring him in at the med room. And let's see what he has to say about what's going on here. And he can see that the programming block is indeed working as well. So, that's the underlying problem with the programming block. It's not that they've disabled it at this level. The problem is that when you load the world up in this mode, they've made it an experimental feature, so that way they can rule out a lot of uh, problems with it being an issue with multiplayer. And when you pull in the old world, it's not pulling over that experimental tag, it's leaving it there, which is understandable. 
you, if you're going to test an old world, you don't want you want to rule out the stuff that is causing all of the lag potentially, like maybe a programming block. But it would be nice if Keen had managed to put in a control that they, you could actually control in the world file from the, uh, the the world settings screen, whether you wanted that in experimental mode or not, because obviously this is a little bit of a problem. And now the fun thing is, is I can also show you. If I do that, oh, player has disconnected. This does seem like a bit of a problem. Uh, let, let's be honest here. Um, on one hand, I can understand why they're making it so you can't kill the character. On the other hand, uh, if you were, say, in a ship and the ship exploded and you're standing in it, your body goes flying out at whatever speed it was going, unless your damps were on for whatever reason. And, uh, yeah, it, then you wind up drifting and drifting and drifting. I, I wonder how they're going to handle that. Um, at this point, he is on a grid. Now he's on a planet. Let's stick him out here, see if I can get the wolves to go after him. Probably not, but either way. So there you go, guys. Uh, that is indeed how you can get it fixed. So you need to go into your uh, so your C drive, basically, for most everyone. Underneath uh, the users folder will be the folder with the username that you log in as. Uh, inside there is a system folder that is hidden. It is called app data, A-P-P-D-A-T-A. -A. If you type that into the address bar, uh, you know, at the end of whatever your username is, you know, do a slash app data, hit enter, it should take you into that folder. Uh, look under the roaming folder. Then in Space Engineers, there will be a save folder. There will be a folder in there with the Steam ID that you have. Uh, you want to look for the one that is not a zero value. And then from there, you're going to see the worlds that exist for your login. And you need to find that world. Uh, if you've changed the name of the world, be warned, it will be under the original world name. Uh, and inside that world is the sandbox.sbc file. You want to go ahead and pull that into a text editor. Notepad will work just fine. Search for experimental mode, set that to true, and uh, save the file, close it, and then you should be able to open the world in Space Engineers multiplayer beta with programmable blocks enabled.